So I think that's the, that's the beginning of what set me off on a, a career which next led me to say, you know, maybe I can use some of the same insights and methods to understand more generally where struggles like those of the revolution fit into a longer set, longer term set of social changes. And I did a lot of naive things at that point. That is, I promised you not to give an, a litany of all my errors, but one error I, I, I got honestly. I mean, my, uh, my models and friends, George Rudet and Eric Hobsbawm, influenced me strongly at this point, and wrongly. I mean, I'm still grateful to Rudet and Hobsbawm, don't misunderstand me, but they had drawn from one version of Marxist historical theory the notion that there was a pre-political form of politics, and then there was a political form of politics. And this corresponds to the Communist Manifesto understanding, which at the time I thought was pretty compelling. You know, that is, all right, the working class becomes conscious, but Hobsbawm and Rudet, especially Hobsbawm, were very good at saying, look, it's not just a question of the industrial proletariat. This also happens in peasant populations and in artisan populations and so on. There's a process of coming to consciousness and acting collectively on the basis of that consciousness. That led me into schematizing. I was always more of a schematizer than Rudet or Hobsbawm. It led me into schematizing a series of pre during and after classifications of forms of collective action, forms of struggle, and so on, that I wish I had never invented. Uh, you, you come, you know, I've been in this business 50 years or so, and some of these things come back to haunt you because you find people using schemata that you tried a long time ago backward-looking, forward-looking, contemporary, and so forth, that turn out to have fatal logical and empirical flaws built into them. I mean, I won't do this for every example I give you, but the problem with that one is that it's reasonable for phenomenology. That is, we can think mm -hmm. of a group of people as looking backward in time, or forward in time, or looking at the present, but it's not reasonable for forms of action. The strike, to take an invented form of action, sometimes occurs in resistance to some change, backward looking in that sense. Sometimes it's part of a contemporary struggle, and sometimes it's a demand for conditions that have never existed. As a matter of fact, K.G. Lee at Michigan uh, is doing wonderful work in China on just this kind of difference between what she calls the Rust Belt mm -hmm. and the Sun Belt sections of the industrial right. labor force. That book just arrived on my desk. Okay, well, it's a terrific book. We had a discussion of it with her a few months ago at Columbia, and it was a very fine discussion, uh, and there she reasonably says the Rust Belt people are defending rights that really came into being under an old and now decrepit industrial regime, whereas in the Sun Belt people are demanding rights that they've never enjoyed as workers, but they see as possible given the principles that the Communist Party is now espousing. Well, all right, I'm, you know, I'm indulging my tendency to turn every little Philip into a lecture, but, 
but you, you see that there's a series of mistakes there <clears throat> that eventually brought me away from these schemata that says, all right, they're, right. The, they're backward-looking, <clears throat> contemporary, forward-looking, etc., to what I think is a more sophisticated understanding of how the forms of collective action change. But it was uh, starting with the counter-revolution that I first began thinking about these, then trying to generalize my understanding of what happened in Western France during the counter-revolution to a much longer-term history of what I then called political disturbances. I wish I hadn't ever used that term either uh, in, in France over a very long period. And I was engaged in that study for 20, 25 years, collecting lots of information, spending a great deal of time in, the, in French archives, and going through schema after schema. <clears throat> 